Often times, we want to access the model attributes in JavaScript when using Timeleaf. This may be to do some logic processing or add HTML elements dynamically. In this video, we will start off creating a Spring Boot project, add model view controller to it, then add model attributes, finally access them in Timeleaf template and create dynamic HTML elements based on the values. Here I have Spring Tool Suite running on my machine which is a flavor of Eclipse. Let's click New, Other, type Spring and choose Spring Starter Project. Give it a name Timeleaf JavaScript. Click Next. From the web layer, let's select web. From the template engines, Timeleaf. Click Finish. Let's right click on the default package, choose New and select Package. Give it a name com.example.demo.controller. Now right click on the package and choose New Class. Give it a name My Controller. Let us add the controller annotation, import it using add request mapping annotation. Let's create a request mapping for demo. Let's create a request mapping for my page. Now create a method which returns a string. Call it show page which takes in a model. This controller returns the timeleaf page my page. Now to the model let us add the attribute my key with a value my value. Let's also see how to access more complex model attributes like an array list of our objects. Let's create a new array list and call it my list. Now right click on the package, choose new class, call it person. Let's add two attributes, string name and integer age. Right click on source, select generate getters and setters, select all and click OK. Let's go back to our controller again. Create a new person object, set its name as John and age, add it to the array list. Similarly, let's create another person object, set its name and age, add it to the array list. Let's add the array list as a model attribute with the name my list. Finally, let's return my page the timeleaf view we want this controller method to return. Now, let's create our timeleaf page. So go to templates, right click, choose new, other, then HTML file. Give it the same name as we had given in our controller my page. Click finish. To this timeleaf page, let's add the timeleaf namespace. Close the meta tag. Let's add the meta tag for the viewport. Now we know that to access a model attribute in an HTML element, we have to access it using the th colon text and the variable name my key in curly braces. Let's see how to access it in JavaScript. Let's create the script tag and add to it th colon inline JavaScript. This will allow us to access the model attributes in JavaScript using Timeleaf syntax. Of course, you can add your regular JavaScript code here which will work as it would in a normal script tag. To access the model attributes, we have to put the cData tag. Inside this, let's create a variable myval and access our model attribute within comments and then using this special syntax of two square brackets and then our variable in curly braces. Then put a static value. Now the reason for putting the variable value in comments is that if the HTML page is processed statically, the timely variable is not evaluated and the static value is shown. But when the page is invoked from our web application, then the variable value is obtained from the model attribute and the static value is removed. Let's put the alert for my while to test. Let's first run the Spring Boot app by right clicking and choosing Run as Spring Boot App. Let's go to the browser and type HTTP localhost 8080 slash demo slash my page 
and we see our model attribute value rightly obtained in JavaScript using the time leaf syntax. If however, we open the HTML page standalone by right clicking and choosing open with web browser, we see the static value. All right, let's remove the alert and obtain our array list. Let's say we want to create dynamic HTML elements to show each row in the array list. Let's say we want to show them here in the div tag with id main. Here in JavaScript, let's obtain a reference to the main div by using document.getElementById. Next, iterate over our array list with initial value of iterator as 0, i less than my list dot length, increasing it by 1. Inside, first let's create a text node with the person name space and then dot h. Next, let's create a para element and then attach the text to the para. Finally, attach the para element to the div. So in the loop, it will create a para element for each person object and attach it to the div. Let us relaunch our project. Go to the browser, refresh the page, and here we see the two person model attribute rows fetched in JavaScript using time leaf template and displayed with dynamically created para elements. In this video, we created a simple Spring Boot Spring MVC app, added a couple of model attributes, accessed them in JavaScript with the spatial time leaf syntax, and dynamically created para elements to display those objects. Thanks for watching.